Hi everyone, this is a tutorial to show you how to work um, the elongated herringbone stitch. You can see here I've um, got this swatch that's already been blocked of it. Um, the bit that I'm going to show you is this section here where you have these um, pearl bumps either side of these elongated um, stitches that kind of overlap each other. Um, so I'm just going to go through how to work this. Now I'm starting with row five. Uh, which is a wrong side row and um, for row five you are going to slip one with yarn in front um, or in some cases later on in the pattern possibly slipping three with yarn in front but um, after that you are knitting to the last stitch but each time you knit a stitch you're wrapping the yarn twice around your needle um, so that's the first stitch so you knit and then you wrap for a second time and you keep uh, repeating that all the way to the last stitch of the row and the very last stitch will be um, slipped with yarn in front so that's row five okay so i've worked to the end of row five i'm ready to start row six you start by just knitting one and then the pattern starts properly um, and what you're going to be doing is knit two through the back sorry, knit two together through the back loop, wrapping the yarn twice around your needle, and then taking the first stitch from the needle, from the left needle, and leaving the second stitch on the left needle. I'll show you what that looks like. So it's helpful to look to the wrong side here to identify where your stitches are actually connected to your work, because you've got one wrap and then one stitch that's actually connected. So look for that leg that's connected to your knitting. That's where you want to put your right needle through. I'm gonna wrap my yarn twice around my needle and then I'm pulling that back through to the front of my work. And then carefully, I'm allowing the first stitch to come off my needle, but holding on to that second stitch. Now, Sometimes what you'll find happens is that that extra wrap drops off your needle as well. It's really fine if that happens. It doesn't matter if you lose that um, wrap at the same time because um, you're, you're going to drop it anyway as you work. Okay, so that's the pattern that you keep repeating along this row. I'll show you again. So knit two together through the back loop. There's my first stitch and there's my second. And I'm going to knit those two together through the back loop, wrapping my yarn twice around my needle, bring it through to the front, and then you let that first stitch drop off, but keep that second stitch on your needle. Now, if as you're working that stitch does accidentally drop off your needle, it doesn't matter. You can just pick it up again by bringing your left needle from the back to the front, of that last loop that you can see pop it back on your needle like that so knit two together through the back loop wrap your yarn twice around your needle pull it through to the front and then let that first stitch and the wrap drop off your needle if both stitches fall off your needle like that it's fine you just identify the final loop like the the leg of the stitch closest to you to your left needle and just pick that up from the back to the front. Okay, um, I'm going to work a few more of those stitches and then show you what the pattern should start to look like. Okay, so once you've worked a few more stitches, you should start to see a pattern emerging of these elongated um, twisted stitches um, and they should all be leaning, the front leg should all be leaning in the same direction to, to the left. Um, if, as you're working, you notice that um, you've gone wrong somewhere and you need to kind of go back, you can. Um, so you just let your double wrap drop from your needle and then each time you just pick up, as you did if you dropped the stitch, pick up the nearest leg to your left needle from back to front and then let that next double stitch drop off. And you just keep repeating that until you've reached the point where you've gone wrong and you can redo it. Um, and then when, when you're ready to restart again, you make sure you've picked up 
that closest leg of the last stitch closest to your left needle and then you can work the stitches as you did before. The only difference here is that because you've undone these stitches they've already dropped their extra wrap so you have these longer stitches to work with but that's that's fine it doesn't matter so you work them the same way knit two together through the back loop drop the first stitch hold on to the second stitch um, and you just keep doing that uh, as you need to until you reach kind of where you'd got up to before so I'll also just show you what to do when you reach your marker um, so you're continuing to work the same pattern, knit two together through the back loop, wrap your yarn twice. Okay, and now you're ready to work the stitches across the marker. Now you've got two options here. One would be to simply remove the marker while you work this next stitch and then put it onto your right needle and carry on. Um, if you're worried about kind of losing your place, then I'll just show you how to work it with a marker in place. So you, as before, you identify the back of your two loops that you're going to knit two together. Wrap your yarn twice, bring that to the front of your work, and then you let the first stitch drop from your left needle and you transfer the mark. Oops, sorry. So you let the first stitch drop, transfer the marker, and then that second stitch stays on your left needle. So you've in effect transferred the marker as you work that stitch. Okay, I'm gonna work a few more of these stitches and then I'll show you um, what it looks like when you reach um, close to the end of this row. Okay, I'm nearly at the end of this row. Um, I want to show you what it looks like when you get close to the end of the row. So in the pattern, it says that you repeat this pattern until you have two stitches remaining on the left needle. So at the moment I've got three, the, the double wrap just counts as one stitch. So I'm gonna work another, knit two together through the back loop, wrap the yarn twice, let that um, first stitch drop from the needle. And at this point, I've got two stitches left on my needle. Now this first stitch has already been worked as part of that knit two together through the back loop with the previous stitch. Um, and so what you're going to do to finish off this row is work this stitch as a knit one through the back loop and then the final stitch as a knit one. And then you're ready to move on to row seven. Okay, so row seven is worked in a similar way to row six, but not completely identically. Um, first of all, you're slipping one, or later on you might be slipping three um, stitches with the yarn in front, and then you're ready to start the pattern. So here, for this wrong side row, you are working knit two together, leaving the second stitch on the left needle. So this time you're not wrapping your yarn twice. Um, you're just wrapping your yarn once this time. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. So you work knit two together and then you let the first stitch drop off the needle and just keep that second stitch on the needle. I'll show you that again. So knit two together and then just keep that extra wrap on the needle ready to work the next stitch. Now, I do recommend as you're working this to just be mindful of, of working these stitches relatively tightly. I find that when I've been working with sort of elongated stitches, it's really easy for my tension to get a little bit loose. So just make kind of a conscious effort to tighten this round, this row up a little bit, just to make sure that you're then back on gauge when you return to your stockinette sections after this. Okay, so I'm just working knit two together and then letting the first stitch drop from the needle, keeping that second stitch on the needle each time. I'll show you what to do when you get to your marker as well. Okay, so here I'm going to knit two together either side of the marker. Okay. 
And then as you let those stitches drop from the needle, you just transfer the marker as well. It kind of just wants to go with them actually. It's kind of telling you what to do. Um, so you transfer the marker and then you carry on as previously. Um, I'll also just show you what to do if, you, if something, if you drop your extra, so if you drop your extra wrap, um, as before, you're picking up the leg of the stitch closest to you, but on this wrong side row, you're picking up from front to back rather than from the back to the front. It's the only difference here. So if you drop your extra wrap, you're just looking for this leg of the stitch closest to your left needle and pick it up from the front to the back, and then you're ready to carry on. I'll also just show you what the end of this row looks like. Okay, so as before, you're working until there are two stitches left on your left needle. So I'm, I've got three at the moment. I'm going to work that final knit two together. Keep that extra wrap on my needle. These are my last two stitches. And you finish by just working that one as a knit one and then slip one with yarn in front. Okay. Okay, and that is how you work the elongated herringbone um, stitch pattern. Um, here you can see a kind of a blocked version of what it should look like once you're done. Okay, I hope that helps.